Hello there and welcome to Scratch tutorial. Uh, Scratch is an application used for designing games and it's mostly used in schools, uh, basic programming uh, platform for students. Uh, so let me walk you through and design a simple game. The game is called a dodgy game. Uh, first of all, in Scratch, we have simple coding methods here. Uh, this place is a backdrop. Okay, the backdrop is the background that we'll pick for our project. So we click on backdrop, and if you want to change, you click here, choose backdrop, and then select a backdrop of your choice. So I can pick something like blue sky. You can double click or click on it and click OK. So that's the backdrop. The next thing is this thing here is called a sprite. A sprite, as you can see. And I'm going to change a sprite. I don't like this one. So I will just click on the scissors and then cut it out. However, if I want a new sprite, I'll come here, choose sprite and click on it. And then look for uh, another sprite. I'm going to search for something called, uh, let me see. Sorry, let me get back. Okay, so I'm going to pick something called Giga Walking. Let me type it. Colon G. Okay, so this one Giga Walking. Let's double click on it. So this is my sprite. I'm going to remove this. Okay, let me remove this ball and show you how to get it. I'll go back and add another sprite and I'm going to take this ball okay double click on it so I'm putting this here and this here I'm just going to place it such that the feet will touch the ground all right so first of all I'm going to code this sprite that's the giga walking okay and what we want is that uh, we have the coding uh, platform here that's the script okay costume is the sprite itself okay and then if you want to add sound okay so the first thing is that we click on events now when how do you want to start our game do you want to press the space bar to start it or you want to click to start it so you can pick when or when space bar key press when we press the space bar then it will start okay the next thing is that we want it to continue so we're looking for a loop so for the loop we go to control and then look for forever look for something called forever this is it here and then i'll place it here it's just like a puzzle the next thing is i'm going to look for uh, an if statement so with the if i look here again if only looking for if then so this is okay then I'll place it inside this the next is that I'm going to check um, pick for a, a key that will help me move to uh, what do you call it move the sprite to either the right or the left so you come to sensing and then look for key press so key space press and I'll put it inside this and change this to the right arrow. So when I press the right arrow, press the right, this is the right. When I press the right arrow and it moves to a direction that I want. Now the movement, I'll go to move motion. I want it to move. Uh, first of all, let's go to uh, what do you call it? A uh, costume. Sorry, looks and then you pick next costume put it here the next costume is that when you come to costumes you see that these are the things so I want it to be changing to these things let's go back to the coding the next is the move movement so I want it to change 
direction x and then by five steps and then x you know this is x axis from the left to the right is x axis and this is right axis. so i want it to be moving between the x axis so we select change x by then put it down there so i want it to move five steps okay now i'm going to repeat these whole steps okay so i'll just right click on this if duplicate and fix it here now we did it for the left arrow now we're going to do it for the uh, we did this for the right so we're doing it for the left arrow the same code okay but here since it's going to the other way you know x has positive and negative so here will be negative five okay so let's just play this and see what will happen to our sprite so i'll press the space bar and i can move it from left to right left to right so this is a dodging gimmick to help me dodge this as it's falling okay so we are done with this okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to code the ball so click on the ball so that it knows that we are ready for it the same thing we go to event and then when spacebar is pressed and then the next we sell, go to motion select set y to no, set y to okay there it is set y to i'm going to make it 180 degrees double click and type 180 180 degrees and then set x to i'll pick set, set x to set x to and i'll put it here now with this i'm going to pick a random number so i'll go to operations and pick random number so i'll take this and put inside this zero and the random is i want it to go uh, from negative 240 to positive 240 the next step is i want this game to loop so i'll go to control and take forever forever will help you to loop your game the next step is that we are going to pick a motion and then let change y by change y by then put it here and then we go to um control and then i'm going to data and type there for speed click ok so i'm going to take this false feed and fix it inside this zero okay then i'm going to control and take an if statement and fix me beneath this one then go to operations and take something like a, a less than or greater than so I mean one box is less than and fix it here so then you go to uh, motion and take something like y position y positions fix it inside the first box so y position is less than i'm going to give here negative 160 okay then set y to Double click 180. Then set X to this. I'm going to just copy this one and bring it here. Duplicate. Oh, sorry. Let me delete this. What I mean is, let me remove this separate. I only need this. Duplicate it and fix it underneath this. And let me fix it back. 